Can you check one too? Hello, Chicago Land. Here we have people from British Columbia, Canada. We've got Toronto, we've got. Okay, you're gonna guess the countdown? Good evening, and welcome to St. John Cantus Church. We are live in the parish hall of St. John Cantus Church. And as you know, Lent is around the corner. Today at church we buried the Alleluia, that song of joy, the song of gladness, because in this season we say goodbye to the levity, to the festivities, and we prepare for that spiritual awakening. But before then, before Ash Wednesday, we have a chance to celebrate. We certainly hoped we could have this event live with all of you, but we are very glad to make sure it continues. We're very grateful to have a wonderful Chicago legend and his group here. He's well known. You've seen him in movies. Uh, Eddie Crosa and the boys from Illinois have been performing since 1976. When he was seven years old, he was playing polka with his father, yes. playing the drums. Mm -hmm. And so it's a great joy as we say goodbye to the festivities, as we say goodbye to the things that we enjoy. As we prepare for the season of Lent, we bring you these festivities. I hope that this winter night, wherever you are, that this brings you joy and some peace and some great music as we enjoy Eddie Carosa and the boys from Illinois. Thank you.
Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon, Eddie Carosa Jr., the boys and girl from Illinois. Happy to be here celebrating Valentine's Day. We miss all our friends out there. Next year, we'll fill this wonderful hall for Valentine's Day. I can introduce the boys and girls in the band right now. Of course, my name is Eddie Carosa Jr. from that world famous Baby Dell Polka Club. And on trumpet, all the way from Blue Island, Illinois, a great friend of mine and a wonderful trumpet player, Kirk Ganser. Been playing along since he was a young boy, also with his dad's band, and has been with uh, Eddie and the boys here for uh, 14 years. So wonderful. Kurt, thanks a lot. We love that trumpet player, one of the best around. This young lady playing drums over here, my lovely wife of 20 years, Michael Lee Carosa, the girl drummer. So we're Eddie Carosa Jr. and the boys and girl from Illinois. I want to do another polka because we love the polka, and I hope you all love the polka also. Ready, dear?
One more little polka for all my Polish friends out there. Yashimash. And Skolat, everyone. Skolat. Got a girlfriend. She is a... She only loves me when I got money. And I am busted. She is disgusted. She goes with Tony. And I'm so... Welcome to St. John Cantus live polka event. Uh, sorry that you couldn't be here in person, but we're glad you're able to tune in from all over the world. It looks like we have people from uh, Canada, New York, Texas. A quick shout out to everyone, and especially our hometown, Chicago. Wanted to give you some quick, fun facts about polka that we have here. Uh, Brother Andrew, take it away, my co-host, <laughs> Brother Andrew. Well must say that it took a lot of preparation to uh, prepare for our little program today. We've got, uh, polka is music from a European, it's a, Europe, it's a form of European dance music. I didn't know that. Yeah, European dance, yeah. It, in, it originated in Bohemia, an area within the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. As an Eastern European immigrants migrated to the United States, their music was largely introduced to the Midwest and Great Lakes region. Yeah, so an emphasis on the Czech roots, which I did not know. Didn't know that either. Polka is more popular in Czech and Slovakian regions than in Germany, yeah. as it's normally associated with German Oktoberfest. Now, I did know that, and because of that, I have my German Oktoberfest German hat. Very hat. authentic. Yes. Comes complete with pins and, uh, I don't know, what, what do you call this? Uh, is it just a feather? Yeah, just, yeah it's a feather. Yeah. It's a feather. Yeah. So if you I'm don't sure have one, you can term. get one yeah. uh, on our website. I uh, know you can't, but can't okay. Just, <laughs> 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 Wonderful. Um, but yeah, polka actually is a word that means half, 
and they believe that the, uh, the dance polka is named polka after its unique half step in the dance or the little half jump. That, that's just one, one etymology of the, of the term polka. Thank you, Wikipedia, for that, <laughs> that fun fact there. I don't know if anybody else reads Wikipedia, but I quote Wikipedia all the time. Um, what else can we talk about? There's many okay. styles. There's uh, Polish style, Slovenian style, German style, German style, Conjunto style. It's a Mexican. Conjunto. Conjunto. Okay, Conjunto. Sorry, I, I okay. Don't speak so Spanish. Okay. Okay. So Mexican. Okay. Okay. You can so get into this. Yeah. Yes. This is great. Okay. So yeah, we we were experiencing a little technical difficulty, so we're trying to stall here a little bit. So actually, a little bit about Eddie. So Eddie Jr. Eddie Carosa Jr. Uh, his father is actually in the Polka Hall of Fame. So Eddie picked up the mantle. Uh, when his father sadly passed away and started The Boys from Illinois, which is also, if you're not familiar with the movie Home Alone, a uh, great Christmas movie, watch it every year. They have uh, appeared in that movie, actually, and we wanted to give you a quick clip of that if you've never seen it, so enjoy Allow this. Allow me to introduce clip. myself. Gus Polinski. How are you? Polka King of the Midwest. The, the Kenosha Kickers. No? That's okay. I thought you might have recognized it. Anyways, um, I had a few hits a few years ago. Uh, that's why, I, you know, just polka, polka, polka. Polka, polka, polka. No? It, Twin Lakes polka. Damavuji polka, a.k.a. Kiss Me polka. Polka twist. Well, these are songs. Yeah. Yeah, we some fairly big hits for us, you know, in the early 70s, you know? <laughs> Yeah, we sold about 623 copies of that. In Chicago? No, Sheboygan. Very big in Sheboygan. They All right. So, yeah, that was John Candy in Home Alone. Uh, great, great Christmas movie. Like I said, I could relate a lot to that because my name's Kevin and the main character is Kevin. So, uh, But, yeah, I see everybody's comments here. Thanks for everybody for commenting. Uh, I saw someone just said, comment, Kevin, exclamation point, LOL. So I don't know if that was for me or for uh, the character in Home Alone, Kevin McAllister, but I'll take it anyway. So thank you, Tom B. Um, Brother Andrew is just helping get set up here. So thank you for, we're trying to adjust the microphone volume too. So any, any comments help with that? Uh, I don't know if you guys have any questions, any facts that you want to know about polka. It's great to see how many people are tuning in from all over. Uh, all over Illinois, all over the Chicago area. Um, but yeah, this is St. John Cantus Church Hall. The church was founded uh, in 1893 by a group of Polish immigrants, and it took about five years for the parish to be built, and down here is actually where they celebrated the first mass in the parish on Christmas Eve. So there's a lot of history here, and uh, yeah, I think that's all the time I needed to stall. So we're going to go ahead and pass it back to the boys from Illinois. Well, thank you very much. We're back again. It's waltz time. You did such a good job dancing in polka at home. One of our favorite waltzes from the movie Dr. Zhivago. We're going to bring out our dancers once again, Tina and Vince Riggler. We're going to do a little song of my love. Please dance and sing at home also. So
of seconds. And my little accordion here has to be reset. So, do you know uh, what the difference between a $22 steak and a $55 steak is? Do you know what the difference is between a $22 steak and a What's $55 the steak? What do you think at home? The price. <laughs> sure, okay. if you go out to dinner on Valentine's Day, that's the price. <laughs> <laughs> they, they charge you more on Valentine's Day. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Let me get this thing set up before I have to tell any more of those silly jokes. Spare everybody out there. Alright, let's see what's going on now. There's the bass. Just a little sound check, check mic. Yeah, I too used to do a little music in the, in the day, not polka. Um, but still of a just in uh, time Polish got tradition, the accordion uh, fixed. Rap, just in rap, time for that wonderful song written many, many years ago by Frankie Yankovic. Do you remember Frankie Yankovic? He was a big polka star back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and in the early 2000s. Well, actually, 98. He wrote a song called The Blue Skirt Waltz. And I know uh, a lot of our parishioners will love this song, The Blue Skirt Waltz. <laughs> Are you ready to dance at home?
listening in. Beautiful. Love those waltzes. Speaking of Valentine's Day, I hope you're all having a wonderful Valentine's evening. Evening out there. Wonderful. I think it's time for a ladies' choice dance now. We're a nice little song by Nat King Cole. We're going to play a nice slow number. Maybe even Nick will dance this one. A little. <laughs> Where'd he go? A little unforgettable.
hold up there, Eddie. We're just going to make a quick little adjustment to our sound. <laughs> okay, we got it. We got you here. Come real close to the TV, bro. We're up in this picture. Okay. All right. Happy Valentine's Day. Is this thing on? Oh, yeah, it's on. Okay. <laughs> I hope it's on. Oh, man, oh, man. All right. Hopefully that'll help us with the sound a little bit here. Eddie Carroll's Julian Boys and Girls from Illinois are dancers out there having a good time. Not only is our uh, dancing couple wonderful on the dance floor, but they both play the button accordion also. We're going to bring up Vince Riggler and play a couple of songs on the button accordion right now. Vince and Tina Riggler, originally from Chicago, Stickney, Illinois. And I was right up, come on, step right up. Step right up here. There he is, Vince. At home, they're all clapping. <laughs> We're going to have a party. A lot of you folks uh, that are watching the show right now remember my dad's polka party every Saturday night, Channel 26. You know, your dad used to play one of these. Oh, that's right. There you go. Right? That's, still, yeah, that, there you go. He's still still. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're talking about the old baby doll, and the, every Saturday evening at 6 o'clock, we had the Eddie Carosa's polka party on Channel 26 from 1970 so I think it was uh, 1993 or 4, so uh, every Saturday it was a live polka show. And then every Sunday we had the, a radio show from the Baby Doll Polka Club on Western Avenue and Central Avenue. And that live radio show lasted from 1954 to 2004. Every Sunday afternoon, do you remember the radio station? Whoopa, W-O-P-A, right Nick? W-O-P-A, 1490 on your A-N dial. <laughs> All right, Vince, have we tuned up over there? Yeah, what are we going to do? We're good. We're good? Let's have a little party. What do you think? Okay. Woo! Can you give it a little more juice there? Let me get this thing on. That's F and B flat, right? Yep. All right. <laughs>
I am staying along with my buddy Vince. Sounds good, Vince. Now, you did say that my dad played the old button box, too. So you really did? That's he was right. born in 19... Yeah. He was born in 1918. My dad, 1918, he was born and passed away in 1998. But he played the button accordion. His spirit danced, is still with us. Oh, yeah. Danced on the bar, the baby doll, and uh, just was a heck of a guy. And uh, we all miss him. He taught me so many things. And I played a button box also. He taught me that many, many years ago, too. So, and uh, I know they're all, all those big polka legends up in the sky are in heaven are watching us today. Uh, my dad, of course, Eddie Carosa, and of course, my good friend, our good friend, Frank Yankovic up there, and our Polish friend, Eddie Bozonczyk up there. So there's a lot of great musicians up there. There's a lot of good musicians down here too. So one more little polka. How about a little, won't you come and dance with me? What do you think? All right, and then can we just uh, go into the top again? Nope. It's not, it's, not it's not on the list. We got a list here. Uh, trouble over here. They're not gonna, musician, now they're not going to hire us next year. What happened? All right. <laughs> All right. Won't you come and dance with me, girl drummer?
announcement, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. We'll be just, in just a moment, we'll have our uh, resident historian, <laughs> ethnographer, and at Alia. All things Polish. <laughs> so, Father Dennis, let's get the mic positioned properly here first. Am I on? You're definitely on. We are both on. In fact, if you want to take a look at what's going on, you can just look at this computer screen. Well, good evening, everyone, far and wide. Our audience is around the country and around the world. And uh, I have to say hello to a couple of uh, one of our brother's friends, Brother Mateusz's friends in Warsaw, Poland, are watching right now. Wow. And we have people here in Chicago also, parishioners who have organized parties. Yeah, people, is it snowing in Texas right now? Somebody's saying it's snowing in Texas. It could be. It could be snowing all over the place. <laughs> awesome. Well, anyways, well, so Father, what do, you, what do you got for us? What, do, where is the, what is the origin of polka? Where does it come from? Why the polka? What, what happens? The polka actually originated in Bohemia, outside of Prague. Uh, people think that the, right now they, they, they identify the polka with uh, with. Polish people in this country, but it actually originated outside of Prague, Bohemia, in about 1830, and then uh, only a few years after that, the people in Prague somehow found out about it, is, and they just fell in love with it, and it became the rage of, of, of all the dance halls, halls in Prague, and then from Prague it went to all kinds of other cities, and by 1840 it made its way to Paris. And the polka actually spread throughout all of Europe. And it was the rage, rage all over Europe, is not just in the, the villages and everything, but in the cities, in the dance halls. Uh, and it, it made its way to, uh, as I say, to Paris, to London, to, to, to Poland. They danced it in Warsaw. To, and eventually it came here with the immigrants to the United States. Uh, and the. Uh, Would it, could we liken pol the polka to, like, uh, what, what, when did it originally, like, what year would it originate? About 1830. 1830? Okay, yeah. so would, could we compare that to like modern dance music perhaps? Like this was like all the rage, the whole at, like sort at, of at that time fad. it was At that time it was kind of like modern music. It was the rage and the fad. Um, it really wasn't, uh, at that time when it started, it really wasn't um, authentic folk music, folk dance. Uh, that's something that grew up organically in the villages and, and village culture throughout the, uh, the centuries. Um, You'll find in, in, in Poland and other countries there are polkas in different regions, uh, like the, the polkas that the, the dance and the music that I know best is uh, in Poland because you know, I'm Polish and I grew up dancing polkas in this country in central Wisconsin and then when I went to study in Poland I was part of the university a folkloric ensemble and you have polkas called polka kutsana, polkas kropko, is in different type of polkas but they're in something entirely different. They're the same, is 2-4 beat. Uh, they're very, very lively. He is uh, just full of vim and vigor. Uh, but like I said, this really grew up as a popular dance. Okay. And it just was the rage everywhere, everywhere. So you have the polka that they're, they're playing tonight and dancing. And uh, What would you say, what is the style that's going on right here? What's the predominant style? Maybe? Well, I have to check with Eddie, Tiz, but I would say that it's probably uh, Cleveland style. Okay. Uh, because there are different, a number of different styles that evolved here in the United States. Uh, there's the Cleveland style, which is faster. Uh, the Chicago style is, is, is a bit slower. Uh, you have what's I didn't know there was a Chicago style. Oh, yes, 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 <laughs> Chicago style. Uh, there's uh, what's called the Dutch style, but that's actually a misnomer because uh, what they read was Dutch, but what uh, was written was Deutsch, Deutsch yeah, D-U-E-T, which is German. So it's German style. Uh, and it's that, that's the more umpa type of music, okay. the umpa band. So like with the tuba. Usually with the tuba. Like umpa, umpa. Well, what, it, yes. <laughs> Could you stay out of this, Kevin? <laughs> We're trying to have a serious discussion here. Yeah. And so that's uh, Chicago style, Cleveland style, uh, like I said, Deutsch style. Um, and there are different types of polka steps, too. Uh, different styles of dancing the polka. There's a, a smoother flowing polka, <coughs> and there was a very specific type of polka that was uh, developed here in Chicago called the uh, the hop polka. 
the hop the, polka. Hop? Hop, like hop. It's in hop, jump, it, jump it, was, it, it was very hoppy, very, very, uh, very like fast. Beer, like beer, so hoppy. No, not hoppy like beer. It is hoppy like <laughs> jumping up and like down. It was very, 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 very lively, it is. And, um, <clears throat> and polka made its way all the way to Mexico, too. That's right. Uh, we were just reading about that. Polka, polka is, very, uh, is very, very well known and very popular in Mexico, and there is a Mexican style polka. Yes, what's it called? We had it somewhere. Yeah, there's a, there's a name, I don't know maybe the name. My, maybe my editors could, uh, could pull that up for us somewhere. Fact check, fact check. Uh, fact check, fact check. <laughs> check. It is called the polka style. Con, con, conjunto, conjunto style. style. Conjunto. conjunto style. Conjunto. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And, and along with polka in this, uh, what's often called old time music, you have the waltz. That's very popular, very prominent. Uh, just like a little while ago, they played the, the blue skirt waltz, which was a very, very, very popular waltz for many years. And like I said, I grew up in, uh, in Wisconsin. Uh, my family's from central Wisconsin. And I grew up you know, every year with uh, Polish weddings. Our family had big Polish weddings. They had huge dance halls. and and old time music, mm. and we danced the polka and the waltz and everything, that's what I grew up on. And the blue skirt waltz was usually played a little bit later in the evening, and that was a really, really big popular waltz by a lot of the people. Wow. Uh, I had one, one aunt in, in particular that loved that dance. Uh, and I can remember mm -hmm. she was, she must have been like 95 or 96, and she would s spend the dance, uh, the wedding dance, sitting on the side of the dance hall, but when they started playing the, the blue skirt waltz, she got up and she found herself a man, a partner, and she had to dance the blue skirt waltz. My goodness. Oh, yes. How about yourself? Were you a bit of a dancer back in the day? Oh, yeah, he told us. He told oh, us yes, he the, yes, uh, yes. Ensemble. Oh. I, I grew up dancing. I grew up dancing this music. I grew up uh, my whole life at Polish weddings, and then, yeah, when I was studying in Poland, I was part of the, I danced in the folkloric ensemble. But as I said, the, you have polkas and then you have waltzes. And the waltz, on the other but hand... Polka, polka waltzes? No, 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 no. There's oh, no, no such no, thing so, as a polka waltz. No, no such thing. Okay, no. no such thing as a polka waltz. No, there's a polka and there's a waltz. Gotcha. Po there's no such thing. You, you can't have a polka waltz because a polka is 2-4 and, the waltz and a waltz is 3-4. Gotcha, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should know and, that I have a music degree, yeah. but, you know. And the waltz originated <laughs> in Austria, uh, in, the, in the mountains of Austria and in, in outside of Vienna, uh, somewhere in the 17th century. And little by little, it became popular as more people became uh, familiar with it. And they began dancing it in, not just in the villages, but in Vienna. And, you know, Vienna was a city of high culture. And, and, and so they, uh, people from other cities would come there from other countries. And they would uh, find out about the waltz. And they would dance the waltz. And they liked it. And it began, like the polka, they beca it began spreading all over Europe, too. Uh, so it's, it's a very interesting uh, situation. The, uh, the Poles and the Czechs and the Slovenians, uh, I think primarily, has really latched onto the polka here, but particularly the Poles, and uh, kind of made it their own, and now they're identified oh. with it. <laughs> and for good or for bad? <laughs> well, yeah, well, for good, yeah. Uh, but this is a Valentine, we'll change the subject a little bit before we sign off here. Sure. Uh, this is a, a Valentine's uh, polka party, but it's a pre Lenten party. And uh, this was something that was a long, long tradition, uh, Catholics in particular, uh, because Catholics like to party, uh, <laughs> would usually have lots of parties and, and, and sometimes raucous gatherings as before Lent started, course, because, yeah, well, because so. Lent was uh, observed far more stringently years ago than it is now. True. And it wasn't just giving up chocolate, or it was you gave up meat, you gave up eggs, you gave up dairy products, you gave up cheese, everything. And so little by little in the, the weeks preceding Ash Wednesday, they would begin getting rid of certain foods like that. And like for instance, you had all the meat in the house, so they'd get rid of the meat. So they'd make you know, all kinds of meats and they would stuff their faces with meat and get rid of all the meat and then the cheeses, etc. cetera. Um, and uh, that's where Mardi Gras came. Mardi Gras was, means is Fat Tuesday. Um, in, in Germany, you called it Fasching. Uh, in Poland, it was tłuste dni, is the fat, he has greasy days because oh. you're eating lots of rich, <laughs> greasy food. Um, and it, it was that last big fling before Lent set in. Uh, 
And there were also these customs where people would dress up in all kinds of wild, crazy, fearful costumes mm -hmm. um, during uh, these pre-Lenten parties. It wasn't just Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. It was like weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, Mardi Gras wasn't just one day. Uh, and these costumes go back to like pre-Christian times when they had a belief that they had to kind of scare winter away. So they dressed <laughs> okay. up in these all these scary costumes to try to scare winter away. And it just was kind of taken up later on after Christianity came in. Um, and that's where our costume balls came from. Uh, here, people dress up for Halloween. She is over there. She is pre-Lenten parties were costume balls. So lots of customs. Yeah, lots of customs, that's for sure. So I think we're about ready for the band to start back up. Thank you, Father Dennis, for that mm -hmm. wonderful history and all your, your knowledge, imparting your knowledge to us. It's been great. So um, I think if we can just... Oh, yeah, can we see you dance? No, okay. <laughs> Forget about no, it. Forget no, about it. No, no, no. no. Okay, cross that off the no, list. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's not, part of, uh, not part of what we do in our religious no, order. Okay. No, no. Yes. So, so uh, enjoy yourselves out there. Is, have a good time. Is, uh, enjoy this pre Lenten flask fling. And pozdrowienia w Warszawie. What he said? Pozdrowienia dla wszystkich w Warszawie. Thank you. I thank you, Father Dennis.
eyes, they dance right now. Grab your favorite partner. Can you dance six feet away from each other? <laughs> Where's a yardstick? This is my nice little song my dad wrote back in the late 1960s. This is going to be a good one. La, da, 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 I hope. Da, 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 da. And here we changed to Valentine's. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's not on the list. It's on the list. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's chicken dance time.
Oh, that was great. Oh my God, I can't shut it off. Sing and dance till midnight tonight. Or Tinder on our pierogies. <laughs> what a party. Oh boy. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Are you having fun so far? Beautiful. We're on page two of our song list. How do you like that? Page two already. Oh, Nick. Oh, Nick. We have a special treat for you folks. Everyone knows this young man. We have a microphone right there for you, sir. Nicholas, say a few words, please. Hi, my name's Nick. Mr. Kurosi here Eddie. at me. Eddie, 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 Eddie. <laughs> to do this uh, for the people in Berwyn, all the uh, Holton Hunters, a little Bohemian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Uh, so we'll do it in the original language. Alright. Thanks. Okay. And you're going to do it in Polish, right? I think full Bohemian. Okay. It's four. It's four. Uh, you know what? We're going to play it one time first, then you come in. How does that sound? Sounds great. Just like we practiced. Wait, we didn't practice. There you, oh, sure. Take my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> The guy comes up here with one song and he's stealing the show. <laughs> Berlin. Berlin. Packer fan. Oh, I don't want him. You can have him. He's a Packer fan. He's a Packer fan. He's a Packer fan. Oh, I don't want him. You can have him. He's a Packer fan. He's a Packer fan. He's a Packer fan. Oh, I don't want him.
He's a Becker fan. He's a Becker fan. One more time. Oh, I don't want a Lincoln have him. He's a Packer fan. He's a Packer fan. He's a Packer fan. Oh, I don't want a Lincoln have him. He's a Packer fan. He's a Packer fan. He's a Packer fan. He's a Packer fan. Hey! Well, there you go. What a party. Once again, Andy Carosa Jr. and the boys and girls from Illinois here. The lovely north side of Chicago, wonderful parish. We're really happy to be here. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone listening in and all our friends here having a great party. Here's one our song off our latest CD. Yes, folks, we have CDs and uh, Polka Stick, which is a USB little, little thing that has all our music on there. If you want to get in touch with us, EddieCarosaJr.com. We have a website, EddieCarosaJr.com. Google that or check out our website. We have a great merchandise page with some great CDs, our little polka stick, which is great. Everyone's going crazy for that thing. Polka time, a little story about the band, a story about all the boys and girls up here. So uh, a lot of fun. It's EddieCarosaJr.com. My phone number's on there. If you want to come to your kitchen and play a party for you for about three or four people, until this is all over, we'll come to your house and play. We'll wear our masks, as long as you have pierogies. Here's a song off our CD. It was nominated for a song of the year a few years back at the International Polka Association. It's called, It's Time to Polka.
Thank you. Moja droga, ja cię kocham. Hi, my name is Brother Mateusz. I'm a second year novice and I come from Poland. So we thought we'd have him on. Um, what is your experience with polka music? And either here or abroad in Poland, do you have any experience? Do you dance to polka? Do you like polka? What is it? What is it? Wow, thank you. Uh, sure. Uh, for sure, there is a growing number of uh, uh, people who associate themselves and look for. Uh, traditional dances. So, uh, as far as I know, uh, uh, on many universities you can find uh, 
many universities in Poland? There's a lot of polka clubs or things like I that? I mean, and maybe not particularly polka clubs, but uh, you can attend uh, tra traditional dances classes. Uh, it, is, it is for sure not the majority, but uh, you can find uh, those clubs and you can practice. And as far as I know, uh, young, gener uh, young generation is interested in this like more and more. Huh. It is not so big yet, but there are groups like here, there, and uh, sure. But what about you? Do you do you dance polka? Have you ever well, danced polka? I think uh, I think I have never danced polka. Uh, some of my friends who are actually watching us uh, now online, <laughs> I know that they belong to to uh, to the uh, to an ensemble that uh, dances uh, traditional folk folk oh, okay. uh, Very cool. uh, dances. Yeah. Cool. So where are you from in Poland? So uh, I was born in Warsaw, and uh, I've been living in Warsaw for 25 years, and then I moved to a different town, uh, Zielonka. This is uh, Warsaw, Warsaw uh, suburbs, but this is a different town. Okay, cool. And how did you find out about us here in the campus? Oh, what, brings you to, what brings you to the U.S.? Sure, is sure, it the sure. <laughs> I was waiting for this day, you know. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I made it. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, so, you know, uh, I was uh, discerning my vocation, and when I shared my desires with one deacon in Poland, uh, he actually told me about this community. I have never heard about uh, you. So, oh, wow. Uh, sorry, I know that we are famous. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> if you uh, haven't heard about us, you will. We're famous <laughs> for our polka. Yeah. <laughs> famous and, for our polka live streams. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what I would like to say, I remember uh, because uh, when I was reading a uh, website, the mm -hmm. description, it was like wow effect because I had those desires in my heart, but I have never expressed them. Nobody told me like, that this can be your mission, this can be your fulfillment, this can be your identity. So when I was reading about uh, like a, your broad goal of restoration, restoration of the sacred is that not, not only the mass, but the but entire life, uh, architecture, everything. So uh, I kind of found, I, I, I found it uh, interesting and uh, then I had to work on my travel here. Yeah. And what did you do before? Uh, you're a doctor, am I correct? Oh, yeah, he's or, a doctor. Yeah. Doctor, yeah. Dr. Brat Mateusz. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, so Brother doctor. Before I came here, I studied at Warsaw U uh, University of Technology. Uh, and I'd like to express my greetings. Shout and out. Shout gratefulness. out. Gratefulness. Uh, yeah, someone else. Sure. Uh, so I want to uh, shout out to. Shout out to who? Who are you shouting out to? Yeah, who are you shouting out to? You know, have you ever heard that? Have you ever heard that mm. expression? Shout out. What does this mean? Shout out would be like, oh, my friends in Poland, I just want to give a quick shout out. It's yes, Poland, okay. So <laughs> if I had just one minute left, uh, I send my greetings to Bratstwo Przedmurza, z Polski. Uh, yes. Did okay. I make it? Well, yeah, you, you got, got, you got, you got plenty of time. Sure. Oh, so uh, I started uh, saying that I used to study at Warsaw University of Technology, and this was a beautiful time. I am very grateful to my supervisor, to my uh, team. That, that's a shout out, too. Pardon? That's, a that's shout another out. shout out. Anytime you, you say something to someone somewhere else, it's a shout out. Ah, shout out? Shout yeah, out. so like yeah. right now I give a shout out to Pia, who's ah. just always supported the polka parties. Okay. Uh, See, and she's in the here, process of making me a scaffold. Every right day now. in this vocation, I learn something new. Every day. Every day they uh, improve my language and they teach me some new. Yeah, we already program. had a comment on here. People love your accent. He has Polish accent. He loves the wonderful accent. Oh my Thank goodness. you, but I'm working to, you know, like, yeah, to change it. Anyway. <laughs> Tonight's uh, program is also yep. brought to you by unofficially Pop Rocks, uh, the official candy of Brother Kevin. Uh, I'm known for my sweet tooth here, and Pop Rocks uh, just really sets oh. off the polka. It gives that, that polka pop, so we'll go ahead and give that a shot. Yeah. Nice. I am very happy oh, wow, I can try my pierogi today. Yeah. You, you can hear a that. lot of this food. You can hear the energy. Pozdrawiam fanów z Polski. Szczęść Boże. See you, Mateusz. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Andrew. Bye bye. Maybe they didn't get that. Official oh, yeah. candy. Official candy. We gotta get a shout out to the pop rock. Okay, I think we're back. Okay, so we're gonna throw it back over to Eddie here in just a minute. Yep, just fit it. Yeah, you put the drink down. So, <laughs> <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, Father, are you ready? Sure am. First of all, thank you for having us. Nastrovia. 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 Let's all sing along. Are you ready? In heaven.
Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, the other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamt I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. So I hung my head. And you are my sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. All right. Oh, that was the best part of the night. just went up. Our ratings just went up. You know, I think here at St. John Cantus tonight is the center of Chicago. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. We're going to go back to our St. Valentine's party right now after a couple of great polkas. We had this wonderful party here. It's your turn out in TV land to do some dancing wherever you're listening in and watching us. We're going to feature of course, my lovely wife, Michaeline Carroll, on the drums. My good friend, Kurt Ganser, on the trumpet. Here's a nice song called The Harbor Lights. Remember that song, The Harbor Lights? The Harbor Lights. Bye. 
Grandma's singing this one at home. Join me, Kurt. I don't know why I love you like I do, everybody. I don't know why, but I do. I don't know why you thrill me like you do. I don't know why you just do. You never seem to want my romance The only time you hold me is when we're dancing. I don't know why I love you like I do. church hall and everyone watching on our show. Beautiful. Hoop-dee-doo. 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 One, two, My trumpet player, Kurt, is German. Let's give Kurt a nice round of applause. And my lovely wife, that I call the girl drummer, 
Austrian beauty right here, Austrian. Isn't that great? <laughs> Tina Rigler, our dancer, is Polish and Slovenia, is that right? Yep. Polish and Slovenia. <laughs> Vince Rigler, Slovenian, correct? correct? Wonderful. Well, we've got them all going here. What a party. Very, very good. I think we need one more of these.
features pumpkin pie. Who's not ready? Holler right. Let's all play hide and seek. Well, all right, Apple's features off our CD. Wonderful. Vince Regular, bring that button box up for a little Slovenian number. A little Slovenian number right now. <laughs> yeah, what's on the list? <laughs> a little, uh, my wife's favorite song is called the Tony's Polka. Oh, Tony. Are there any Tony's here? Any Tony's here? Me? Is there a Father Tony? Tony? All right, got the button box. That thing on? Yeah. All right. Count it off, honey. Hey!
Ronald Lima. Once again, thank you, Vince Riggler. Thank you very much. Jane Kuya, Jane. And Jane Kuya, there you go. <laughs> well, we're coming to the close of our afternoon here and our evening. Once again, thank you very much. On behalf of Eddie Carosa Jr., the boys and girls from Illinois, and our wonderful dancers, I'd like to play a nice song before we close, a little God Bless America, for all our veterans, all our troops, God Bless America, all the friends, the friends we've lost, the friends we love, the friends we have, God Bless America. God Bless America, please sing along. St. John Cantus Church with Eddie Carrozza. Thank you so much for joining us tonight as we prepare for Lent and as we have a night of celebration and joy. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you very much and enjoy your Kunski's coming up too. Kunski Day. God bless you, Chicago. <laughs>